All right, so let's learn about the rand array function. As the name implies, it lets us generate an array of random numbers. So I'm going to type rand array, and you see that it asks you for the number of rows. So I'm going to create 10. Columns is going to be 5. Uh, the minimum value, this is the minimum random value, I'm going to say is 1. Maximum random value is going to be 50. And then the next question is, do I want a decimal or an integer? I'll go decimal for some extra precision, always like that. And then I'm going to press enter. You'll notice it actually spills from this cell here and actually populates all of these cells. So you want to make sure you have nothing over here, right? Because it's going to just flatten it or give an error or something. But this is useful in cases where you actually need a grid of data like this. And you plan on, for example, working with these values. So if you can count on there always being a 10 by 5 table, maybe you want to have a function here. And as you can see, every time you accept a formula again, it recalculates because that's the nature of these randomness functions, right? Every time you recalculate, you get new values. That's how it works.